Hello friends, welcome to channel Piping Mantra. In today's video, we are going to see about the model review procedure. This topic will be divided into three videos and this is the first video of that set. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All the APC projects uh, which are being executed on a 3D model are close to the real plant that will be built at the site after construction. These plants are developed on software like PDMS, SP3D, PDS, E3D, CADWORKS, etc. which gives a more realistic representation of the plant being constructed compared to the 2D platforms. A 3D model review is a design procedure to present the electronic 3D model to the client to verify that the current stage of the design meets the minimum project requirements for operability, maintainability, constructability, safety and function and functionality and which reflects every discipline's input to the design to date. Now let's discuss about the stages of 3D model review. It is planned to have three formal model reviews at stages 30%, 60% and 90% of design completion. These stages are linked to the project schedule in respect of the supply of engineering information from upstream disciplines like process, mechanical, instruments, etc. being at a status of preliminary, intermediate and final. Deliverables required from each discipline to achieve each of these stages are defined and we will discuss this in a later part of the video. Typically, a model review will not proceed until such time that all of the deliverables required for the specific review have been incorporated. When deliverables are missing for a particular review, a specific discipline has to share that information with the project manager. The project manager has to identify and approve the associated risks and mitigation of the risk for proceeding with the model review without that or those documents. The model review is to freeze the design at each of these stages, that is, once comments from the specific review are resolved, the scope of facilities covered in that review will be frozen. Now let's see about 30% model review. A 30% model review means the first mi milestone for model preparation. All the design data is not available at this stage. The objectives of the 30% 3D model review are, at this stage, plot plan is finalized based on hazard recommendations and other project requirements. Only the large diameter critical lines are modeled and reviewed as per process requirements like free drain or no pocket requirements. So, according to these, the location of equipment is finalized. Review the constructability of the plant. Check operational, accessible and maintenance requirements. The supporting documents required for a 30% model review are plot plan, PNID where line size is given for all critical lines, process elevation diagram where it has mentioned that no pocket or free reining requirement between two equipments, equipment layout showing all the equipment and their preliminary location, piping spec, preliminary stress analysis, stress critical lines to finalize loop locations, pipe support for critical and big bore lines, preliminary or not to exceed data of equipment, if no data available, model box shape with past project data, preliminary instruments index, preliminary data of valve and specialty items if available, all the layouts governing the main steel structure, preliminary mechanical handling study and based on that volume should be modeled. Safety study based on that escape route, access volumes, and some additional safety volumes shall be modeled. Firefighting layout, UG layout and facilities. If it's an expansion plan, then existing facility drawings and tire drawings if its model is not available. Now let's talk about model review responsibilities. The piping engineer and the project engineer are the primary organizers of the model review. The piping lead shows the plant through a walkthrough of the complete plant. All comments are recorded in a proper project format for resolution and incorporation. Any necessary changes and comments are agreed upon and immediately recorded and marked with reference numbers and model pictures to allow follow-up and avoid misunderstanding. The project engineer will plan and manage meetings, decide agenda and require attendees. 
he ensures that the design progress meets the prerequisites of that stage of model review. He distributes the model review comments to the attendees and coordinates the discussions and documents resolution and action items between different stakeholders. The piping engineer will drive 3D model, perform prior clash check, check all the prerequisites, provide inputs to the project engineer like inclusion, exclusion, holds and risk based on unavailability of data, capture all the comments in the form of tags or action items along with the snapshot of the model, plan model walkthrough in an intelligent manner so that systematically all the area and discipline objects would be covered, yellow off PNIDs, that is the lines that are a part of 30% model review, keep important documents handy, coordinate with the CAD team for the 3D model and plan its cutoff date. Now let's look upon the checkpoints of the 30% model review. First, equipment modeled as per the available data like data sheet, preliminary vendor drawings, packages are modeled as boxes. Location of all equipment and their orientation along with the major nozzle manholes and associated ladders and platforms. Major equipment structures, their shelter and foundations are modeled and checked. Major underground piping systems including pressurized and gravity lines along with the drainage system are modeled and checked. Major large pore and critical process piping determining the equipment locations are modeled and checked. All critical piping requiring slopes and no pockets as per process requirements are checked. Pipe rack tracks and sleeper ways are modeled and checked. Bund walls and firewall is modeled and checked. Separation distance within plots should be shown and spacing interdistances between the equipment or structure are checked. Roads and main accessways are modeled and checked. Dropout or laydown areas, bundle pulling areas and davits are modeled and checked. Space reservation for main electrical, instrumentation and telecom cable trays on racks or cable trenches and corridors are modeled and checked. Mobile and permanent maintenance equipment access area is modeled and checked. Space for construction and erection access is shown as translucent boxes based on the constructability study. Concrete slabs and paving are modeled and checked. Hard standing areas are defined and properly located and checked. All ladders and stairs are modeled and checked. Spray water rings on the static equipment in the required number and location are modeled and checked. ESTV conceptual location at a safe place is modeled and checked. The requirement for operation, maintenance and access to equipment, structures, shelters and buildings have been checked. Modular design projects are checked for installation, path, modular envelopes and modular setout points. As built coordinates of tie-ins with existing pipe or equipment. Fence gates and emergency exits are modeled and checked. Space for future facilities is modeled and checked. Battery limit interfaces with others are shown appropriately and checked. In the case of brownfield, the existing information is modeled and checked. All escape route paths are obstruction free and no walkway has got head bumpers or tripping hazards. All the exits through escape routes are going away from the main process area. Proper space on the platform is available for turning the manway covers and entering the equipment. Accessibility of maintenance and operations of spectacle blind is checked, especially if associated with equipment. The adequate clearance availability for the maintenance and removal of rotors, shafts, internals, etc., including the installation of temporary rigging beams, hoists, chain falls, etc., is checked. Location of fire hydrants and monitors of firefighting equipment is shown and reviewed.
the fire protection system deluge valve hose racks etc have been identified and located per application design guidelines codes and standards all locations are reachable by a fire truck if one road is blocked at least two exits as per the safety requirements are present on platform that will be used regularly especially platforms on technological structures and underneath the air coolers etc transportation of equipment through existing plants reviewed brownfield only so that is it guys for today's video we love reading your comment and suggestions so please comment below we do read every single one of your comment if you like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues who may find it useful if you have any time please check out our other videos over there thanks a lot thank you